What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> Just a quick disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so today we are going to be doing an art project. We decided we want to do something together. Yeah, it represents kind of our styles yeah. that we like. But is also easy and has a touch of human. Literal touch. Exactly. <laughs> My room didn't have much uh, feng shui or design to it. So when Shara came over, she um, had some ideas to make it look better and we decided to do a project together. We're going to work on the painting. Hopefully it'll take a couple hours. Let's see what happens. So this is where we want to put the painting. Some art supplies that you might need are going to be a canvas, obviously. Don't spend a lot of money on them. They're usually half off at any art supply store. Also some paint brushes, water, paper plates, uh, colors. We use a very neutral palette with a hint of a bright and a hint of a dark color. Another thing to keep in mind is at Goodwill they have all these really good deals on crappy art but their frames are really nice. So always look out for really good frames when you're looking at the art at Goodwill. Now here we're just going to dot on the canvas, the paint, because using a palette is totally overrated. <laughs> just kidding. I just try not to use a palette as much as possible, especially for background stuff. You can go ahead and throw your paint on. There is no right or wrong here, but I would recommend doing more lighter than darker. Once your paint's on, you can start using a brush to smear it back and forth. We tried to stay in the same direction because uh, I felt like if we had too much texture in the background, it might take away from our simple design on top. We're going to be doing a wash over it, so it's really important to dry in between this layer because we just want a real light translucent gray over top of everything. We mixed a few different shades of gray and water together and then just poured it on the canvas and smeared it around. This kind of lightens it up a little bit. Then you can even use a paper towel or cloth to kind of blot it and give it some dull texture. When it dries, you'll just barely be able to see it. Glitter is optional, although who doesn't want glitter? <laughs> I usually put glitter on most of my art. It's kind of a signature for Shara. <laughs> but it came out really pretty. It looks really nice, and I do recommend it. We used a plate here to find the center of the canvas, which also really helped to keep our hand prints in a circular shape. If you want to do the flower of life like we did, then find something circular in your house, find the center of the canvas, and just start adding the circles in one by one. But feel free to do any shape that you like in the middle, make it your own. Here we use 
paper plates to make a bunch of half circles around our circle of hands. Spit and make the sidewalk ripple. Then I took the circular tape and put circles inside of those circles. All these pencil circles are gonna be mandalas and it just helps give a really nice guideline. But again, make it your own, do what you want. The point of painting is to have fun, right? Tag us on Instagram or Facebook with the art that you made from our video. We'd love to see it. Let us know what you guys did with this. Show us your art. We love art and always take care.